Welcome to the Quick Train Modeler video training series. In the previous module, you were introduced to some of QT Modeler's LiDAR point cloud capabilities. In this module, you will learn the basics of manipulating elevation and surface models. A digital elevation model, also sometimes called a digital terrain model, generally refers to a representation of the Earth's surface. It excludes above ground features such as structures and vegetation. On the other hand, a digital surface model includes the Earth's terrain, plus these above ground features that have been excluded from the digital elevation model. Quick Train Modeler provides instant access to models in a variety of formats, ranging from LAS to ASCII to GeoTIFF. To load a model, click on the Open Models button. I'm going to load a digital surface model in the QTT format. QTT is the native QT Modeler format for surface models. To zoom into your model, scroll the mouse wheel towards you. To zoom out, scroll the mouse wheel away from you. You can tilt the model by holding down the left mouse button and sliding it forwards and backwards. You can rotate the model in a similar fashion holding down the left mouse button and sliding your mouse from left to right. To pan your model, hold down the right mouse button and drag the model. If you become disoriented at any time, go up and click on the Reset View button. This will reset your model to its original state. To adjust the height coloration, click on the Configure Height Coloration button. This will launch the Configure Height Coloration dialog. Click on the Edit Palette button. In the Define Palette window, choose the appropriate color palette. You can toggle the height colors on and off at any time by clicking the Toggle Height Coloration button. If your LiDAR data also has intensity values, use the Toggle Vertex Colors button to display the intensity information. Lighting conditions can be customized by clicking on the Set Lighting button. This will launch the lighting window. General adjustments can be made using the Ambient and Direct slider bars. Alternatively, the lighting conditions can be set for a specific day and time. To assist with orientation, you can show the axes. This is available under the Display menu, Options, Show Axes. To see the range of elevation values within your model, you can also choose to show the legend. Now let's explore some of the capabilities within QT Modeler for comparing two or more models. In this example, I'm going to begin with a bare earth digital elevation model. Under the File menu, I'm going to go to Add Models and add the digital surface model that we were using before. I can flicker back and forth between the models by clicking on the Show Hide Models button. This launches the Select Visible Models window. I can simply select the model that I wish to appear on top, or I can automatically flicker the models back and forth. To remove models from the File menu, choose Remove Models, and remove the model you no longer wish to appear. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please visit our website for more modules in the QT Modeler video training series.